welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you guys another study vlog. This is my second study vlog that I will be filming here in South Korea. When I finished college last spring, I never expected myself to continue these videos. But now that I'm here in South Korea learning an entire new language, I think it's just like really good for my motivation if I keep filming these videos because it really does make me get out and study. So yeah, in this video, I am pretty much just going to be bringing you guys with me anytime throughout the next week or so that I decide to do some studying. I try and review Korean every single day, whether it's watching a short YouTube video or if it's actually like sitting down and studying really hard. Unfortunately, my Korean class for the past couple of weeks has been canceled because the teacher has been out of the country. So those are gonna continue in a couple of weeks. So that's why you probably won't hear me talking about my class much in this video. One of the questions I get a lot is, Adrienne, do you speak fluent Korean? Or like, how do you navigate if you don't speak Korean? And the answer is yes and no. So pretty much like when I go out and about, I can say stuff in Korean that can get me by. Like I never speak really in English to anybody just because I think it's like kind of disrespectful to just like assume they speak English here, you know, because it's not an English speaking country. Um, so when I go out places like to stores, if I need to ask for like a bag or if I'm ordering food or coffee or if I am going to the bank, stuff like that, like I can speak enough Korean to get by. However, I cannot hold a fluent conversation and if somebody's speaking super, super fast to me, it's hard for me to understand obviously. But I will say being a teacher at a school where you hear so many people speaking Korean all day, it has really helped me with improving my listening skills so a lot of times when somebody's saying something to me in Korean even though I can't like necessarily reply to them in Korean I can understand what they're saying it's kind of weird but yeah it's all a big work in progress learning Korean is a really big goal of mine right now so that's kind of that answer do I speak Korean yes and no all right so before I head out to the first cafe of this video I wanted to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video which is Goodwall so even though I graduated college several months ago I'm always getting so many questions about Adrian do you have advice for getting accepted into this college or do you have advice for finding the perfect job for after college and when Goodwall reached out to me I knew that this was a perfect fit for my channel so Goodwall is pretty much an online tool that gives students and professionals the ability to make connections with schools and employers based off of mutual interest so you can pretty much start by going onto the website and you build a profile so you can showcase your skills, any degrees you might have, any goals you have, ideas, it's all in one place. It's kind of like your personal website and then you can create postings which will help you get the answers that you're looking for. So for example, if you are somebody that just graduated college and you wanna get a job with L'Oreal, you can make a posting and you can you know, say, do you have any advice for getting a job at L'Oreal? And the same works for colleges. So if you're trying to get into Boston College, you could put on there, do you have any advice for getting into Boston College or what's a way to stand out to Boston to college that type of thing also with the new goodwill update you can do 30 second video pitches with ideas you might have so if you have like a cool business idea or something you can make a video of it upload it on there and then you can get feedback from other professionals and i'm really excited because with this collaboration i'm actually going to be interacting with you guys on goodwill so any of the profiles that i see from you guys that i like i am gonna comment and i'm gonna like and i'm gonna talk to you guys on there so click the link in the description set up an account if you are somebody that is about to apply for college if you're in college, if you're in that weird post-grad stage of your life, this website is perfect to help you kind of find your way. But anyways, let's go ahead and head out to the first study defini definition, destination of this video. getting ready just to go out right now and I wanted to show you guys something that I actually do quite often um, I always look up this learn Korean in your sleep stuff and I usually just click like a basic one like there's so many different ones um, and I just put it on while I'm getting ready and I can hear and listen to and like practice different 
Korean phrases and it's super super helpful like at first I didn't really think it was gonna do much but the stuff actually sticks especially if you watch the same video a couple times um, and a lot of these are super long like this one's almost two hours but yeah if you're learning a new language I totally recommend looking something like this up Hi guys, so it is a few days later now and I just realized it's been a couple days since I updated you guys on my studies So I actually took a little break from studying anything probably for the past like three days just because I was moving I didn't really have time, but now that I am kind of like all settled in and stuff I am about to sit down right now and do a little bit of studying in my house I was gonna go to a cafe, but it's super super rainy today. Here is the dealio. So this like past two weeks I've been trying to get a lot better about my numbers like number practicing and counting and stuff um, Korea has two number systems. So one of the number systems is like for given numbers for example your phone number is a given number your um, house address is a given number if that makes sense and then the other one is counting an actual amount of thing if that makes sense a number of you know pieces of fruit and stuff like that so it is kind of hard to remember two different counting uh, systems but that is what I am trying to kind of like learn more of this week and I also want to get better at money like I when I, somebody tells me an amount of money I want to be able to like understand fully what they're saying so I am gonna do flashcards for that um, I think that's just gonna be the best way for me to like actually practice the way I'm gonna make them is just by taking some pieces of paper because I can't find flashcards anywhere here if you are in Korea, let me know where you can find some flashcards. Super old school. I'm just going to cut and make my own little flashcards. And I'm going to fill them out. And then I will probably end up um, studying these all day today and tomorrow. I might end up going to a cafe tonight. So if you see me in the same shirt later in this vlog, uh, it's probably filmed the same day. I'm going to make these actually really small just because obviously like it's numbers. So... Uh, okay, I'll do it like this. Okay, just like that. And now I have some flashcards, so I'll probably make about, I don't know, 20 of these for today to study.
So it is later on in the evening now and I think I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog off here um, This was my I guess study experience from the past week I definitely want to do more of these videos But I don't want to keep them super super long just because I feel like when they're long They can get really boring because at the end of the day I'm just studying language so it's like kind of the same repetitive thing over and over again And I'm not really like taking notes. I'm really just like writing down like words and phrases and stuff like that so um, I'm gonna close the vlog off here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any language learning tips or tricks or anything that you have to share with me, please let me know because I need all the help I can get. I will say I do think me having Korean friends helps me like learn a lot because you know they teach me things and they can help me with my pronunciation and also working around students and stuff. All of my students are always speaking in Korean, even though they're not supposed to, they still always do. So I can kind of pick up a little bit from that too. But yeah, guys, that's about it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my uploads. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.